Hello, I'm Mary V. Today, let's talk about how to produce vibrato. So we all want a beautiful, fast, continuous vibrato. So how do we get there? So there are some uh, tutorials I've seen on YouTube which I think are very unhelpful. Um, one is to um, depress the finger, the first knuckle here, and bring it up and then bring it down flat and then bring it up and then bring it down flat. And that's simply incredibly unhelpful. It's not right because the fingers are always curved. They never are pressed down. The only time that the, the finger would be pressed down is to bridge across, um, for example, for a fifth. If you've got very small fingers like me and you can't manage a fifth with the width of your finger, you would turn your hand and, and bridge it a little bit, which I do in Bach. Um, that's the only time that you'd ever do that. But the rest of the time, the fingers are always curved. So how is vibrato actually um, produced? It's a rolling of the soft part of the finger, um, not too near the, the nail. So the smaller the movement and the faster the movement, the more beautiful the vibrato, really. You don't want a vibrato that's uh, nearly a semitone wide. You know, that's far too wide. And I see, the problem is, I see a lot of tutorials that are telling you to do this. And it's a semitone. I think this is so unhelpful is because slow practice should really relate properly to what you do up to speed and that is not what you do up to speed at all um, the vibrato should be much smaller than a semitone um, you just roll your finger So the basic movement is actually very different from this. That's not what you're, you're actually doing. So how do you practice uh, to get your vibrato nice and small, nice and light, and as fast as possible? Well, I think the interrupted method is the best, which is just do it in very, very short bursts like this. So you can see, if you do the cello method, um, you can actually see what you're doing. You're simply rolling the first finger and you're trying to get onto the very, um, the pad of the finger. Don't play too close to the fingernail because you'll start getting pain. Vibrato is actually a strange sideways movement. <laughs> it's not straight on like a cello which is more like that. It's more at right angles to the, uh, the neck, right? But actually doing the cello method can start a lot of people off understanding what vibrato actually is. And if that's easier for you, do that, that's fine. Stick your elbow out and pretend to be a cellist and get the fingers um, moving like that. So very short bursts is the way to go. Just like that, a tiny little vibrato. Just a little rolling of the, the fingers. Now, as you do that, you can feel an impulse in the inside of the wrist and also you can feel the tendons working at the back of the hand. And if you practice being uh, nice and relaxed and doing this over and over again, you will start feeling those feelings. Do 
it as slowly and then start to speed up but keep on um, interrupting it so you're not trying to do long continuous vibrato. I, I think that's very tiring and um, it's not as effective really as a practice method. Something you may find uh, that really helps is to go and lean your hand on the shoulder of the violin and see if just resting it there helps your finger to be free to move. In fact, that's quite a good little exercise to do to get the movement going. To just slide over the string, but just in a very small movement, not huge like that. But rest your hand on the shoulder and move very slightly with your finger. And in fact, without pressing on the string, um, just play that. So that your, your hand is moving like this. Vibrato is actually a very small little movement. In fact, the narrower it is, the faster you can actually do it. So when you're doing the slow one, um, it's got to relate to what the fast one is going to be, and please remember that. Don't, don't practice slowly with a massive, great big uh, movement. It'll, it'll never teach you to, to have a lovely fast vibrato. So long as the mechanics are there, eventually it will you'll be able to speed it up. There's so much involved in doing vibrato and yet it becomes very natural and automatic. And um, <clears throat> practicing properly really will get you there. So I hope you get on well with your vibrato experiments and I hope that something in this film has helped you. And I'll say bye-bye for now. Bye.